An armed man stands by the remains of a Russian military vehicle in Bukha, close to the capital Kiev, Ukraine, Tuesday, March 1, 2022. Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okterka, a city between Kharkiv and Kiev, the capital. EDS note graphic content, a man looks at a Russian soldier's body lying next to a military vehicle on a road in the town of Buka close to Kiev, Ukraine, Tuesday, 2022. Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okterka, a city. Ukrainian servicemen ride on top of an armored personnel carrier speeding down a deserted boulevard during an air raid alarm in Kyiv, Ukraine, Tuesday, March 1, 2022. The UN's refugees' chief is warning that many more vulnerable people will begin fleeing their homes in Ukraine if Russia's military offensive continues and further urban areas are hit. Ukrainian families say goodbye as they prepare to board a bus to Poland at Lviv bus main station, western Ukraine, Tuesday, March 1, 2022. Russian shelling pounded civilian targets in Ukraine's second-largest city Tuesday in a 40-mile convoy of tanks and other vehicles threatened the capital tactics Ukraine's embattled president said were designed to force him into concessions in Europe's largest ground war in generations. Ukrainian army soldiers left rest while others eat near the front line with Russian troops in northern Kyiv, Ukraine. Animal keeper Kirillo Tranton comforts an elephant at the Kiev Zoo in Kyiv, Ukraine. Russian strikes pounded the central square in Ukraine's second largest city and other civilian targets, and a 40 mile convoy of tanks and other vehicles threatened the capital. A woman takes photos of a destroyed accommodation building near a checkpoint in Brovary, outside Kyiv, Ukraine. Russian shelling pounded civilian targets in Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. Tuesday in a 40-mile convoy of tanks and other vehicles threatened the capital tactics Ukraine's embattled president said were designed to force him into concessions in Europe's largest ground war in generations. Ukrainian emergency service personnel carry a body of a victim out of the damaged city hall building following shelling in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okterka, a city between Kharkiv. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky addresses the plenary via remote link during an extraordinary session on Ukraine at the European Parliament in Brussels. The European Union's legislature meets in an extraordinary session to assess the war in Ukraine and condemn the invasion of Russia. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and Council President Charles Michel will be among the speakers. Russian President Vladimir Putin listens to St. Petersburg's Governor Alexander Beglov during their meeting in the Kremlin in Moscow, Russia. A member of the Ukrainian Emergency Service looks at the City Hall building in the Central Square following shelling in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Russian strikes pounded the central square in Ukraine's second-largest city and other civilian sites Tuesday in what the country's president condemned as blatant campaign of terror by Moscow. Women with their pets walk past a queue of cars heading to the Poland border near Shihiny, western Ukraine, Arch 1, 2022. Russian shelling pounded civilian targets in Ukraine's second-largest city again, and a 40-mile convoy of tanks and other vehicles threatened the capital. Ukraine's embattled president said the tactics were designed to force him into concessions in Europe's largest ground war in generations. A woman passes by at a market closed for business in Nikolaev, Ukraine, Tuesday, March. Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okterka, a city between Kharkiv and Kyiv, the capital. The dead bodies of soldiers are seen in military vehicle on a road in the town of Buka, close to the capital Kyiv, Ukraine, Tuesday, March 1, 2022.
Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okhtarka, a city between Kharkiv and Kyiv, the capital. Medical workers move a patient in a basement of a maternity hospital converted into a medical ward and used as a bomb shelter in Mariupol, Ukraine. Russian strikes on the key southern port city of Mariupol seriously wounded several people. People fleeing from the conflict drive cars heading to the Ukrainian and Romania border near Sernivtsi, in Ukraine. Russia on Tuesday stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city, pounding civilian targets there. Casualties mounted and reports emerged that more than 70 Ukrainian soldiers were killed after Russian artillery recently hit a military base in Okhtarka, a city between Kharkiv and Kyiv, the capital. Pro-Ukrainian people wave Ukrainian flags as they shout slogans during a protest against Russia's invasion of Ukraine, in Istanbul, Turkey. Russia's military assault on Ukraine is now in its sixth day. A miles-long convoy of Russian tanks and armored vehicles is inching closer to the Ukrainian capital and fighting has intensified on the ground as Russia stepped up shelling of Kharkiv, Ukraine's second-largest city. The dead body of a victim from shelling in a residential area lies on a stretcher in a corridor in a maternity hospital converted into a medical ward in Mariupol, Ukraine. Russian strikes on the key southern port city of Mariupol seriously wounded several people. Ambulance paramedics move an injured man on a stretcher, wounded by shelling in a residential area, at the maternity hospital converted into a medical ward and used as a bomb shelter in Mariupol, Ukraine. Russian strikes on the key southern port city of Mariupol seriously wounded several people.